Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. I post videos on luxury goods. To me, luxury can mean lots of things, such as a little Squishmallow right there. Um, I forgot his name, but I have so many. Um, I am currently having some coffee. I have already had my coffee today, but this is more. Uh, so cheers. My current bag is this, this one I just got, the Louis Vuitton Baggy PM in Fuchsia. I am loving this. I was not impressed when I first got it, but I am very happy with it. It is so comfortable to use, and I just love like it sitting on my body. And I don't think I was concerned about, you know, just like, oh, pink bag. Um, you know, just like if people would like stare or whatever, but you know, I don't give a fuck. So <laughs> um, I really love this bag. The thing is with the bags that I like, there are never reviews or videos or any content on, you know, the exact model that I'm looking at. I don't think there are, I don't think I've seen any baggy PM in pink, you know, video, whatever. I, you see a couple of the blue ones, but the, even there aren't that many of them. So I'll go into this in a different video. This is not what today's video is about, um, but I just wanted to show you. Um, so I'm going to put that to the side. I am going to be talking about a different pre premier, pre premium designer, um, as it says on the purse forum. You know, you go down the list, and then I think it says, like, premium designers or whatever. Louis Vuitton, Dior, Chanel, all those are on there. The one I will be talking about is Dior. Now, I feel like at first glance, you're like, whoa, big mama, which it is. And then also it's like, probably overwhelming to my frame. I'm 5'3 and 106, five-ish pounds. Um, so bags tend to overwhelm me and be a little distracting. But this is the Gaucho shoulder, shoulder tote, the zipped version. There are so many different variations of the Gaucho line. Um, I had a bag it was in the monogram and it had this, it had the buckle, but it was a shoulder, shoulder bag, but it was in the monogram. Yeah. But I sold that because it felt cheap. Honestly, like it just, it didn't feel like, it didn't feel nice. Um, I loved it, but it just was not up to par to my expectations. I tend to compare everything to coach and the LV bag just doesn't feel as nice as my coach bags. Um, and those bags, I feel like are fair to compare because they came out around the same time. They're using the same kind of materials. So I don't know, man, I don't know what's happening there. Um, but this one I'm thoroughly pleased with. I do feel like not scared to use it, but I'm a little more somewhat careful with this, even though, you know, it's, it's been through the wars. I mean, it is like an off-white beige, off-white cream, not beige, um, leather. So, you know, dirt and stuff is gonna show more easily. But I kind of like that about pre-owned bags because it's already broken in, you know? I don't need to worry about like, oh shoot, I just got a little coffee stain on there or something. You know, I don't have to worry about that because it's already there. I am eyeing another one and I really wanna get it. Um, I have like four Coach Soho's. I don't know how many I have. I have a couple. I want to get another one like this. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm going to reveal it on here if I get it. If no one buys it before me, I will definitely get it. Um, but yeah, there are so many different versions of this bag. There's one that's exactly like this, but without a zipper. And I don't like zippers. This one I will tolerate, however. You know, it's fine. I considered that one, but when you like the side profile, it's totally flat. And those go for the same as this one. So I'm you're getting more bag by having this version, but you know, it's all up to you. Um, I don't like bags that are like totally like flat. The crazy thing to me is how much these things retailed for when they came out. I think both of these came out around the same time. The baggy PM was like 2006, 2000, late 2005. 
and like throughout 2006 and 7. I think this was either like 2006, probably when it came out, or 2007, around the same time. And each one of these things, when they came out, allegedly were like 1200 bucks or something, right? I think I'm right. You know, scouring through the purse forum, you know, it's kind of hard to find that kind of information because it's so embedded in there. You have to find it by digging through. It's not like, you know, baggy PM price or whatever. It's not, you're not going to find it that way. But yeah, I've seen these going up to like $2,000, you know, in those posts from like 2006. And then going down to resale to like five to 600. I mean, there are people selling these things for 1200 plus. Um, so, I mean, those are sometimes in pristine condition. Sometimes they're in worse condition than this. But I feel like this is in pretty good condition. I mean, you can see the kind of wrinkles and like unevenness here. Um, and the dirt isn't showing up as much on the camera, but um, it's not so bad here. So it's got these little, this little charm. It's gonna be making a lot of noise. So if you get annoyed by that, sorry. Um, I like the key. The key says Dior on it. That is such a nice little detail, which I, I, di I don't think I noticed when I bought it. Um, so I was like, oh shoot, the key has, says Dior on it. I'm not crazy about Christian Dior himself being on here, but it's your brand, man. You, you can stamp yourself all over it. Um, the saddle part opens to a pocket, um, and it's pretty wide. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like the size of my hand. Um, so if you got stuff you don't usually access, like your wallet, um, I have contactless pay. I use Apple Pay for everything, so I never really take my wallet out. Um, and it's got a little pocket in the front, magnetic closure. I put my AirPods in here, my keys. So that's very nice. Don't need to go into the bag itself. Um, the bag itself inside, oh, wrong zipper side. Um, I have it stuffed right now. You know what? I'll take the stuffing out because I am just that professional. So, this is the bag empty. Um, does it slouch? I don't know if it sags when it's full. But the inside is this big spacious compartment. Um, if this lighting wants to agree with me. But that actually works out because you can see the inside. Um, so it's like an embroidered kind of lining. Um, it says made in Italy. There's a zipped pocket here. And then on this side, there is a big pocket with a little clip there. And then I think on the other side, yeah, it's like a skinnier pocket. And then just one big open compartment, nothing else, which is perfect to me. There are two zippers and they don't say Dior on them. I don't know why I thought they did. Whatever. <laughs> but I love the zippers too, the little leather tabs, they're great. I'm not a leather handbag person. I don't know, I, I feel like I've said this so many times. I'm not. Just look at what I have. There's probably two leather bags um, and I've acquired them just recently. Well, three. But yeah, I'm not crazy about it. I feel like, I don't know, I might be wrong here, but People prefer leather because they say it lasts longer or whatever. But I feel, I feel so much more comfortable with a fabric or a canvas bag. I mean, I know those things attract, hold dirt. And then once they've got it, you know, there's no, not really a way to get it out unless you like scrub it clean or throw it in a washing machine or whatever. I also just prefer, I just prefer the feeling of like material, fabric material and stuff. Um, and I feel, I feel personally like I have to be more careful with leather because once it gets scuffed, it's kind of just like, you know, gone or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving it. Here, let me show you what it looks like on. So this kind of thing can look overwhelming on my frame, but I love this so much that I do not give a crap. As you can see, I've really been embracing 2000s trends. Um, 
So this is what it's like on the shoulder and this is how I prefer to wear it. Um, you know, you can wear it like this um, or hand carry, which I do sometimes. Um, easy to do that, yeah, but I mostly wear it on my shoulder. And it's on the long setting, longest setting for both straps. Um, I'm 5'3", 105, 6-ish pounds. Um, so that's just an idea. I'm just gonna scoot my boot. But yeah, this is the bag. I love it so much. Um, you kind of have to scour for it. Um, a lot of Japanese, actually, Japanese uh, sellers, I haven't seen this that much. And when they do have it, I think they tend to be a little more expensive. Um, but check Vestier Collective, you know, Dior Gaucho. I, I don't think a lot of people are, you know, going for this style. Maybe they didn't in the past, and that's why there's no content on it. But she's been out for a while. She should have some exposure by now, but maybe it's telling that there isn't that much out there. But I love it. So just look up Dior Gaucho, and, you know, they trickle in throughout the, the, the websites. So if there's nothing now, there's definitely going to be something later. I have my eye, like I said, on it. It's the same exact bag, but in a different material. One that I would never go for. Like, leather is a material I don't go for. So is that one. So, if no one snags it before me, I will definitely share it. Um, but if they do snag it, then I can probably never find it again because I haven't seen any other one that's like that. So, I kind of hope it works out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, uh, subscribe if you would like, um, or, you know, you like dropping by, I don't know. That's what I do with some people. I don't want to give them the subscription, but I will click their videos when it's on my recommended. Yeah, I think that's all I got. Uh, follow my Instagram. It's going to be in the description, I think. Um, if you got any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.